Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Kirito Wolf here bringing you another Minecraft BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Sea Wolf class submarine. This was a class of nuclear powered fast attack submarines abbreviated to SSN, in service with the United States Navy. The class was intended to be the successor to the Los Angeles class and design work began in 1983. At one point the Navy wanted 29 of these submarines, uh, but later on due to Cold War constraints and uh, basically more cancellations and stuff like that of this class only three of these boats were ever completed and built uh, and later on the Virginia class was designed which was uh, smaller and of course cheaper to uh, produce than the Seawolf class and uh, yeah so the Seawolf actually fun fact for it is actually the most expensive SM SSN submarine um, ever and the second most expensive submarine uh, ever after a French uh, class of submarine. So this is you're basically what you're looking at one of the most expensive if not the most expensive submarine uh, Basically around it's pretty crazy to think um, This thing is uh, definitely really expensive. It was cost 3.5 billion dollars to make just one of these uh, which is quite a bit of money uh, anyways, uh, going ahead and uh, taking a look at the build. Again, it's a very simplistic build. Uh, you know, it's been a while since I've done a BAFTA build. I think the last one I did was the USS Wasp. So uh, it's good to get back into it, and I decided just to do a nice simple one to kind of ease our way back into it and all that stuff. Uh, but anyways, you can see it's pretty much a standard uh, torpedo shape for a submarine. Uh, you have your, of course, uh, f uh, fins on the front here on either side. Um... Then you have, uh, of course, the nose up here, uh, the conning tower uh, right there. Uh, you have these uh, little bumps and bulges that kind of come off the side sides here. I believe these were probably some kind of ballast tanks. Um, could be completely wrong about that. Uh, but just from what I would ima imagine and think that these would be, that's probably my most logicated guess on what I can make with those, what those were. Uh, on the top here, it appears there's these hatches here, or they could have been, uh, you know, missile pods. I really don't know. Something like that on the top here. Um, and then going to the back here, you have uh, the, of course, engine. Um, it had a lot of these little, uh, you know, uh, extensions here, these fins that kind of extended all around here. So I uh, went ahead and included those. You got two sticking straight up er, and down, and then you got two to the side, and then you got these two that are di not diagonal. Um, so lots of these fins and stuff on this. I probably imagine this thing is very maneuverable, um, especially since it costs so uh, dang much. It should be pretty maneuverable. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much the submarine in a whole. Uh, looks real nice, and hope you guys do enjoy. Anyways, with that, let's go ahead and uh, move into the tutorial by starting off our first layer. Um, layer, I believe we're going to start with layer 2, actually. So let's start with layer 2. Alright guys, so the first layer we're going to start off with is layer 2. Now, the reason we're going to start off with layer 2 is because it's going to be a little bit easier to do than just starting with layer 1. Uh, layer 2 is going to give you a very accurate representation of basically how big this thing is and for, you know, of course, putting this in a certain area or whatever. Again, it's a very small build, so if you have to move it, it's not the end of the world. But again, you know, it's to save you some trouble and all that stuff. Now, you saw the mentions at the beginning of the video. Make sure you guys take that into account. We're going to be basically starting from the front and building back. So be sure to, again, take a look at those dimensions if you need to. And also, uh, make sure you're building this in the correct position you guys want it. Now, for layer 2, it's going to basically focus on this red portion, which would all be located underwater. If this thing is going to be pretty much at water level, I would highly recommend you have the water level at either layers 2 or 3. Uh, one of these, if you're going to have this thing submerged, uh, I believe layer 3 would probably be the best, in my opinion, for it. Uh, but again, you could have a layer 2 if you really want to. Um, so if you're going to be building this uh, in the water, you can either have it the water at this level right here that we're going to be building this layer, or you can have it one block higher. Up to you guys, really. But anyways, let's go and continue on. First thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a narrow brick top set coming off a of black hole block. So the black hole block is going to start here. Narrow brick top set is the very front of the submarine, as you can see right there. Once you have that done, we're going to place down one and two red stinkway blocks back. We're going to place down a brick top slab on either side of the uh, red stinkway block right there. We then want to place down a stone brick, or sorry, an upside down brick stair like so on both sides. Going ahead and going back one more block of red stinkway down the center. And then we're going to place down a brick upside down stair on either side to create two corner stairs with these two stairs in the front. After you have that done, we're going to place down a row of three of red stinkway. We're going to grab ourselves some wooden signs and place them down the side here of these uh, red stinkway blocks. Now, if you're building this in the water, you guys will not be able to put down these signs. But if you're building it uh, as a diorama or something like that, uh, these signs make a nice little detail effect on the side here. But again, if you're building it in water, don't even worry about the signs. 
The red line going to place dice second row three, and again, the signs on either side. Be sure not to uh, type letters on them, or it's going to look really weird. Then after you get that done, we're going to place down a red stinky block in the center. Again, a brick stair like upside down, not like this on both sides. After uh, the brick stairs right here, we're going to place down another row of three of red hardened stain clay, followed by a second row after that. Again, signs on the end here of these red stain clay blocks, both sides, just like that. After you have that done, we then want to go ahead and place down a red stain clay block in the center, brick upside down stair on both sides. And then again, a row of three of red stain clay, second row of three, we're going to go ahead and take our signs, place them down on the sides here of these red stain clay blocks like so. Same thing over here, like that. We then want to place down one, two, three, and four. Red stain clay blocks back. We're going to place down one, one and two. Upside down brick stairs along the side here. One and two. We're going to place down one and two brick top slabs. One and two. All along the sides here like that. Then we get back here to this point. We're going to place down a brick upside down stair like this. Followed by a brick top slab. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides here of this top slab. We're going to place down a top slab coming off of this top slab on both sides. And then we just want to go ahead and place down a half slab going down like so. Same thing over here on this side. Like so. So you get something that looks just like that for the back there. After you have that done, we're going to place down a red stain clay block coming off that stone or that brick top slab there. And then we're just going to place down one and two. Another brick top slab's going back. Once you get back here, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on either side of this uh, nether brick top slab. And again, I believe wither skeleton skulls can't be placed underwater. If not, just go ahead and bypass that part. Uh, not completely necessary, but it is nice and getting the shape on the back here. And uh, that right there is going to basically do it, uh, or almost do it for this layer. We have one last thing we want to do. We actually want to go and take some uh, uh, some iron trap doors. We're going to place it down, coming off these two brick corner stairs, like that, on either side for the front there. With that done, that's it for layer two, and with that, we can move on to layer one. All right, guys, so layer one is going to be the most easiest thing you've probably ever done in your life. All we need to do is just go ahead and go to the bottom of this brick, or sorry, this red stain quick block, place down a brick top slab, and that's it for layer one. Let's move on to layer three. All right, guys, so moving on to layer three. Now, for layer three, what we're going to do is we're going to go and start by going to the front of the uh, submarine. We're going to place down a narrow brick stair on top of this narrow brick top slab, followed by a uh, black wool block going back, and then a narrow brick half slab on both sides of the black wool block. After you have that done, we're going to place down a second black wool block, followed by a narrow brick stair like this on both sides. We then want to place down a narrow brick stair like so, so we create a corner stair on both sides like so, and then a black wool in block in between those two uh those two narrow brick stairs. We also want to grab black wool. We're going to place it down, or sorry, bl black carpet. We're going to place it down top of those um, iron trap doors like so. We want to place down a row three of black wool, followed by a second row. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven rows of uh, black wool. Ro eleven rows of three of black wool. So just to make sure, we just to double check here. We have actually 10, my bad. So not 11, 10 uh, rows of three of black wool. We then want to place down a narrow brick stair on both sides here. Black wool block in the center. We then want to place down uh, one and two black wool blocks back. Followed by a nether brick, I believe this is a corner stair. Yep, a nether brick corner stair on either side. And a nether brick half slab on top of those brick top slabs. On top of this brick upside down stair, we're going to place down a nether brick stair. Followed by a nether brick half slab back. We're then going to place down a black wool block. Followed by one and two nether brick half slabs coming off of that black wool block on the other side. We then want to place down one and two uh, nether brick half slabs on top of those nether brick top slabs. And just like we did for the previous there, we're going to place down wither skeleton skulls coming off those half slabs like so for the back. Once you guys have that all done, that's going to basically do it for uh, layer uh, three. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer four. All right, guys, so we're on to layer four. Now, for layer four, what we're going to do is we're going to go and start off by going to our second black wool block. So we have one, two, and the second one right here. We're going to place down a narrow brick half slab on top of it, followed by one more that goes back like so. We then want to place down a narrow brick stair like that, followed by one and two black wool blocks like so. We then want to place down one narrow brick half slab back, followed by a stone slab. And on either side of the stone slab, we're going to place down two stone buttons. We then want to place down one, two, three, and four nether brick uh, half slabs back, followed by a stone slab with, again, stone buns on either side of that stone slab. We then want to place down a nether brick half slab, going back like so. And then we're just going to go, and go back here to this black wool block right here and place down a nether brick half slab on top as well. Uh, once you have that done, that's going to do it for layer four. With that, let's move on to our last five layers, layers five and six. Alright guys, so for layers 5 and 6, we're going to go ahead and start off by taking a nether brick stair, place it down top of this black wool block like so, followed by a nether brick half slab back from the stair like that. 
And then uh, lastly, we just want to go ahead and grab ourselves a nair brick fence post and place it down on top of this uh, nair brick stair, just like that to make the top of the conning tower. Once you guys have that finished, that's going to basically do it for the uh, United States Navy Typhoon, or sorry, my bad, uh, Sea Wolf class uh, submarine. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial and uh, are excited that bathtub builds are uh, finally back. It's been quite a while and it's good to finally get them back and rolling and pretty much in action. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys do end up uh, building this thing, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This would be anything from the side of the build to link to my channel or this video if there's any social media sites. Uh, anything about that, as long as you guys give me credit for it, you guys are free to use this project for whatever you guys are working on. And uh, yeah, other than that guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.